Hey, this is Dave Gleason. I'm head coach here at Athletic Revolution in Pembroke, Massachusetts. We're just south of Boston. So if you live nearby, please stop by and check us out. Uh, I'm really excited to talk about another use for agility discs and plyo safe boxes or some plyo box, any box that you might have in your facility that's big enough to accomplish what we're going to talk about here. Uh, we use these in the past. I've done another video on this on our YouTube channel uh, to talk about how to train or coach kids for box jumps. Uh, a lot of times where we run into trouble, especially with younger athletes, 6 to 13 years old, if not our 14 plus, is placement and setup. This is a great way to train groups. I've got enough here for four to eight kids because what we could do here is have a, a child behind each dot with one behind them ready to go, ready to go. You have two boxes, two sets of, of, uh, of discs here, and there, boom, there you have 16 kids, a 16 group, uh, and you can effectively teach. What we're gonna do is go over push-ups right now. Then we'll talk about some other variations or exercises that you can also implement. Uh, with really endless if you think about it. And placement is so important with the push-up. Six to 13 year old kids, some of them are discovering this move for the first time. Some are trying to do better at it. I like elevating the hands because it takes some of the pressure off to the upper extremities as we know. And it allows you to get them in the proper alignment. So we'll place the children behind each uh, disc here. They each have an assigned color, okay? The other thing I like about using the discs, hand placement. They're not gonna put their hands together. We say they have to be outside of the discs. And we can also cue them if they're too wide. So they're gonna be here. We can talk about making their body nice and straight. For the little kids, we'll talk about making their body in a nice straight bridge. Older kids, we'll talk a little about, about having that straight line from the top of their head to their heels. We'll talk about engaging those glutes a little bit so their core engages, so forth and so on. Most important thing though, is now we can get them at least in a push-up hole and coach through that. Now as I call out different colors, if I call out yellow for instance, whoever's over the yellow dot, they do one push-up or attempt one push-up. Purple, same thing. Start predictable. Don't go random and make it all crazy on them yet. Start predictable and then make it game-like once you see they're ready for that. It's appropriate, randomize it and make it more reactive and game-like. Uh, as I said in my previous video with the box jumps, you can call it the same color more than once. They'll start laughing because you know that, ki that kid has to go more than once. Randomize it, try to trip them up, call colors that don't exist in the, in the context of what you're doing. Have fun with it, okay? That's a real simple explanation, not a lot to go over there. Uh, make sure that you go by more of a time or really observe your kids when you see that they're starting to get gassed. That's when you stop this activity. It doesn't have to be a designated number of repetitions. It just doesn't. If you are going to go by a designated number of reps, make sure that they're low. Make sure that they're low because again, you're not going to see perfection yet. So let's not have them groove an incorrect pattern. Let's give them an opportunity and then end it. Give them another opportunity, end it, and then keep going. Give them more sets of lower reps. Allow them to discover allow their CNS to blueprint that pattern, everything will be great. Uh, the next thing that we can talk about, since we have the colors up here, you can keep them down low on the floor, is what about step touches for a little bit of conditioning? You can do box jumps here, where now they have to come to either side of the dot with their feet. So again, you're working on landing skills just a little bit. They're endless. The, the idea is that you can come up with endless so don't just use your agility discs or dots for agility drills. Uh, think outside the box and use them to teach other skills as well. I hope this helps you out in your own facility and your own programs. Please check out our YouTube channel uh, at youtube.com backslash athletic revolution. We'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks so much.